I have got the Apple Studio display and it is a really nice display and it's also got a webcam built in, but is it any good? Well, I have got a whole bunch of different front facing cameras that I'm going to be pitting this monitor against. So let's just jump into today's video. Hi there everyone, it's Mike here from Tech Car Moon. And if you enjoy Apple tech and Apple related tech, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys stay updated. So the webcam in the Sh Apple Studio display is a 1080p webcam. So I thought I'd pit it against a few other webcams or front facing cameras. So first of all, I've got the Anker C300, which is a 1080p webcam and is supposedly really good quality. I've actually been using it for a little while. So you may have seen it in some of my previous videos as well as some of the other content that I do on, on YouTube. And I do like this thing because my current setup obviously doesn't have a webcam in any of the monitors. And sometimes I need to do some FaceTime or Zoom calls or anything like that. So I know the quality of this camera. I've also got the 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro and that has another 1080p webcam. I've also got the MacBook Air, that's the M1. So that's got the new uh, image signaling processor and all, all, all that good stuff, but it is only 720p. And then I've also got the brand new M1 uh, iPad Air, which again has got a really good front facing camera. So those are all of the cameras I'm going to test. So let's just jump into it. We're now testing the Apple Studio webcam and microphone. So let me know what you guys think of this uh, webcam and microphone combo. Does Do I look all right? Uh, how is it handling my voice? Uh, it's quite interesting that a monitor has microphones, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. This is the M1 MacBook Air webcam and microphone. So let me know what you think of this little combo. This is the only one that is 720p. So how does it hold up against the other webcams? So this is a test of the 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro. And we're testing out the 1080p built-in webcam as well as the built-in microphones. So let me know what you guys think of this little combo. This is now the C300 webcam by Anker, and we're using the built-in microphone of this webcam as well. So this is the 1080p at 30 FPS. So let me know what you guys think of this one. I'm noticing that it's definitely not handling my neon light very well. There is an anti-flicker mode, but I've not sort of set anything. I've just sort of uh, left it as it is out of the box, basically. And the last one is the M1 iPad Air front camera. So obviously we're using the built-in webcam or front camera and microphone. So uh, to me, this is obviously the best one. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised that the others don't do as well as this considering obviously it's all from from Apple. I'm holding it trying to sort of keep the same uh, framing but obviously the webcam is to the side so it probably doesn't look right and I'm probably a little bit shaky but yeah let me know what you think. So those were the tests for basically this full setup just to see how it would look because obviously this is ideal lighting conditions right you know it's lighting me perfectly right now everything is spot on high quality lights so that is basically the best that that camera is gonna get. Now let's try and turn off some of these things and see how these cameras handle it. We're now on the Apple Studio display and we've got it in the dark setting. So we've got the lights turned off in the background and I've only got one light lighting me up. So how does the Apple Studio display handle lower light situations? Is it better or worse than the others? Let me know in the comments below. So here is a test of the M1 MacBook Air with a few of the lights turned off as well as some of the background lights turned off. So only one light lighting me up. So how does the M1 MacBook Air handle this kind of uh, lighting situation? Here is a low light test with a few of the lights and stuff like that turned off. I've turned off my main key light as well. I've only got one light lighting me up at the moment. So let me know what you guys think of this one now that everything's a little bit darker. Are we on the same level with the other webcams? We'll see in a moment. Here is a test of the Anker C300 webcam in the dark setting. So again, lights turned off in the background and only one light lighting me up. So how does it handle in darker situations compared to the others? 
And lastly, here is the M1 iPad Air. So we're now in the dark mode setting. So no lights in the background and only one light lighting me up. So how does the M1 iPad Air handle this dark situation? This is pretty extreme. Okay, so what did you guys think of all of those tests? Because honestly, I was pretty much disappointed across the board. The best one to my uh, to my eyes was probably the M1 Pro 14 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what which one looked the best to you. Uh, obviously the iPad was always gonna look pretty good, but in terms of actual webcams, um, yeah, a, a lot of them were disappointing. Um, you know, the, the C300 Anchor uh, actually was pretty disappointing in this test. Uh, I didn't actually realize how bad it was until I compared it all to what I have at the moment. So anyway, uh, yeah, the, the M1 uh, 14 inch MacBook Pro, uh, M1 Pro, whatever it's called, uh, that one by far was the best webcam. And in terms of microphones, the studio display was very, very impressive. The worst one I would say was probably the C300 microphone. That wasn't very good at all. Um, the M1 uh, iPad uh, MacBook Air was, pretty predictable. I mean, it's 720p webcam. It, it's just not going to hold up compared to the others. In terms of skin tones and stuff like that, I noticed that every single one of them did pretty poor job, uh, except for probably again, the M1 Pro MacBook Pro. That probably had the best color representation and everything like that. And just to let you guys know as well, I've set it to the maximum in quick time. Uh, it's filming in ProRes. I mean, you name it, it's, it's, it's doing the highest quality that any of these uh, cameras can do. So there's no bias or anything like that between them. I mean, I have no reason to really pick a favorite, it's, it's Apple at the end of the day. But um, yeah, in terms of actually the, the camera qualities across them, Apple, in my opinion, needs to step up across the board. I don't know if they can do any software tweaks or anything like that, but all of them were absolutely terrible in relatively low light and well lit studio environment. Uh, all of them just did, did really, really bad. But you guys, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this test. Were you disappointed? Were you surprised? Uh, how did you find the webcam quality and the microphone quality between them all? Were you impressed or not? Again, just leave a comment down below. But anyway, that's it for today's video. If you've gained something or learned something new out of this video, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys stay updated. If you want to watch more videos from me, then you guys know what to do. There are two fantastic videos that I've handcrafted myself. So go ahead, click it and enjoy. Look after yourselves. Bye.